I'm Jake, here with Amplify, and I'm here with... Pacific. Hello. Do you want to all say who you are and what you do in the band then? Yeah. I'm Anthony, the front man, uh, piano and can take the singer. <laughs> I'm Dave and I'm guitar. I'm Drew and I'm on the drums. And I'm Dan and I'm on the bass. Right, so why did you pick your band name Pacific? Um, it was <laughs> it was because of um, a guy we used to do gigs for, um, Plugs. Have you, have you heard of Plugs before? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, they, they sort of got us on our way and um, we had another name back then and we weren't really happy with it. So we sort of, and he sort of advised us on Pacific. Um, he said like, because he was in a band in the past, I think the story was, and they sort of couldn't get to where they wanted to get to because of like their name holding them back. So they said, they said that if they ever were, if they ever did it again, they'd yeah. be called Pacific. And they said that the, the name really suited our sound and stuff. So. Um, yeah, he advised us to pick Pacific, and it sort of, we, didn't, we didn't like it initially, and then it sort of grew on us, and then yeah, it stuck. It stuck, and uh, here we are today. You've come quite far with that name, I've got to say. Thanks very much. I've seen you so many places. You're everywhere, <laughs> right? How did you guys form as a band? Um, well, me and Daniel over there are brothers, um, so we we sort of uh, started to like, we, we've sort of come from like a musical sort of family, both have like played piano from like age of four or five. Um, and yeah, sort of it sort of grew from there. We sort of started to get into bands you know, as teenagers and stuff. And then um, we sort of, yeah, we started to write our own songs and then Pacific came, you know, around. And we had a few few drummers and a few guitarists and they left for other, like for reasons. And then Dave and Drew uh, came and now this is, the str- this is the strongest lineup we've ever had and it, it, will, it will stay like for, the, for like the complete future, I think. I think we've, you know, this is the final line that we're ever going to have and things are you know, starting to progress and move forward now so um, it's a you know exciting it's an exciting prospect for the future but uh, we'll see what happens <laughs> we'll see how it goes <laughs> so is there anything that in like makes in particular makes you want to play the genres you play and have you got any plans to change or expand in any direction anybody, anybody? Oh, I don't you didn't know the answer I don't know the answer to that one <sighs> You two sort you you two are the ones that write the songs, so What was the question again, sorry? Now. Um why do you play the genres that you do? Um I think well for for us, um, it suits us. Like, it, yeah. it suits our sound, so Yeah, definitely. I mean we had our um, influences, obviously. Uh, mine and aunt's main was Muse when we were younger, and then sort of like bands we liked sort of British bands like Coldplay, Sabian at first. And then we sort of um we sort of started off writing our sound sort of mixture of all those and then sort of brought something new together especially when we came together as four of us we sort of evolved and definitely got we know what, we know what our sound is now and um, we sort of um, we write new songs all our songs sort of are collective and we know sort of where we're going with them okay yeah, yeah. so you've covered Muse and British bands like Coldplay but who uh, do you have any other idols any of you that you aspire to be like or whatever um, it, well, it's like in terms of not musicians, but other people. Anybody, musicians. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, for, well, for me, sort of, the, it's just you know frontmen of British bands. So there's nobody else really for me. But maybe there is others for for David Drew. <laughs> nope. I'm trying to think musically now. You, like, you have like a kind of an ideal I don't want I, picture in your head of where you'd like things to be. Yeah, that, 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 that's, like what, that, that's, that's what I aspire to. Your inspirations yourself, where you want to be. Yeah. <laughs> Take them from. Not pretentious at all? <laughs> <laughs> Take them from other influences. Yeah. yeah that's. Point that thing at me. Um, <laughs> no? He's got a. He's got a bad throat at the moment, so. <laughs> Thanks. I can't talk, just. But. So I'll pass the phone closely. Um no, I no Dan. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Um, sort of any figures that we aspire to. You know what I mean? Yeah, your idols in life in general. Um. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. I'm thinking. I mean, I mean, music related. It. I don't have a personal figure. It's. It's more. It's more the acts. That I enjoy listening to, and I sort of aspire to. I'd love to do what they're doing. That works too. That works too. Yeah. Cool. I'll, I'll, yeah. Almost, yeah. yeah. So at the moment, um, I mean, 
obviously as the like the acts who have already made it massively like you know Muse, Coldplay, that that'd be amazing. But at the moment, there's new bands coming out like uh, Bastille. That um, you know, I love to sort of you know, maybe support them like where they're going at the moment. I like, I like where they're going, and um, I'm not sure. That's, that's about it for me. Yeah. Right, from down back to the studio. I think everyone was stumped on that question. <laughs> Are we done? Final answers. <laughs> So, um, outside of music, what are your, you guys? Is you have hobbies, right? Outside of music, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, um, sort of. I've been at university like this this year or at Manchester for the first first like first year, and I'm going in second year. And I don't learning know, there's is a hobby. learning as you know, education is is is, is a is a great hot pastime of mine. Not really, um, but um, in terms of. All the stuff I like, you know, I, get, I, like, I like to read a little bit. I like to, uh, I like to play in the PlayStation a little bit. I like to um, socialise. <laughs> I'm probably more or less the same. <coughs> Music, student, like the rest of the band now. So it's psychology. I do quite a lot of volunteering as well around here when I'm back at home. So I really enjoy what I do there. And yeah, Xbox, Xbox, and so and people. I like people. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. I like films. Films good. Definitely. Films too. But yeah, films. Yeah, that's my hobby. <laughs> um, I like to play tennis when I can. I don't play as much as possible anymore. I like running. But um, yeah, definitely tennis, sports-wise. Yeah, I'll go with running. That's his only hobby. Okay, so in the music industry, is there any people or bands you'd like to do a collaboration song with? Um, for collaboration, I think it'd be sort of we'd like I'd, I'd like to do like with a sort of female solo artist sort of thing. So um, at the moment, um, well, I really like Paloma Faith. I think she's really cool, um, and she hasn't really do, she hasn't, she hasn't I don't, as far as I know she hasn't really collaborated with any bands or anything like that. I know like you know artists like Rihanna has and, and stuff like that. Um, but there's. An artist that yeah, there is one girl I really like. What I mentioned to you didn't I, the other day? Um, uh, I can't remember her name, but Gabriella Aplin, Gabrielle Aplin, or whatever. I think it's Gabrielle Aplin. Um, but yeah, I think she's really, really good, and I think she really suits sort of collaborating with a band. And I think maybe Bastille have already worked with them, with, with her on a, I think on a, on a, on a cover. I think it was. Um, but yeah, she would be really good to collaborate with for my personal pick. Um, I'm she'll sure. Be, she'll see this and she'll be like, it's them. Potentially, potentially. But um, yeah, I think Silhouette is come and go. So is it? But maybe there'll be somebody else when, when, if we ever, you know, kick off majorly. But we'll see. You're heading that way, aren't you? You've got like music videos and all that out. So yeah. So. Uh, What's your best memory of something to do with music or being in a band? Um, for me, I enjoy sort of the, compos the composition element. I like to, you know, create songs and stuff like that. But I also like, I always like the live, the, nothing beats playing live, you know. Um, every single part, you know, being active as a musician, that is what I enjoy. When there's times where there's nothing going on for a few weeks, that's that's when, that's what I don't enjoy. But uh, as, as long as, you know, you're active doing something um, really, you know, interesting in a band, then that that's what I, that's what I enjoy. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same as well, like musically, when you, like, you create like a really good riff and just like, ah, I like that one. And like, really, really enjoy like the live performance, like, Again, you can't beat that feeling of being on stage, whether that be a tiny, tiny venue or like massive, massive stage. So, okay, yeah, the same really. Uh, I like uh, what's the hitting thing? I like hitting thing. No, no. Um, <laughs> you like live? Best. I, li I like live, but I also like it. You know, like Bristol and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, we're, in, we're taking it. time from like usual routine of day-to-day -day yeah. life to go out and do something fairly unique like record or yeah. um, music video music video yeah and that going to places new places new that's good new experiences yeah I like that um, for me definitely songwriting is my uh, I love I love writing new songs and creating new songs but playing those songs live I think and um, recording them just sort of getting them out there that's what I really enjoy doing and yeah, seeing the reaction of people and stuff like that that's what I really like <laughs> 
So we've had we've had all our serious questions now. So as a band, what's the worst joke you know? This is the last question, the big one. The worst joke you know. It can't be rude. Nothing rude. I should stop talking. Um, I'll take that off him now. The worst joke I know. I don't know any jokes. Um, knock knock. Who's there? Doctor. And with that, I think we're done, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, this has been Pacific. Say bye to the camera. I think Liv's arm's hurting a lot.